Globitech Innovations is a global technology company that specializes in the development of cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems. In a recent acquisition, they bought a startup called Funplay, with the aim of integrating their AI technology into children's toys. In the opening scene, Funplay's top designers, Sarah and David, meet with Globitech's board members. The CEO, Mark Thompson, is eager to hear about their latest projects which involve the creation of interactive toys that can learn and adapt to a child's behavior. Nervous Sarah presents the idea of using robotic animals, such as elephants and giraffes, to teach children about the natural world. David, on the other hand, proposes a line of space-themed toys that can communicate with each other and form their own alliances. Despite Sarah's objections, Thompson selects the space toys and sets a deadline of three months to complete the project. Sarah warns that this timeline is unrealistic, but they have no choice but to proceed. After the meeting, a man hands the designers their security cards and passwords to access Globodex online system. He warns them to keep their passwords secret, but David carelessly writes his down on a piece of paper. Later that night, Sarah discovers that David has lost his password and cannot access the system. Frustrated, David uses Sarah's password to log in and downloads confidential information about Globitech's next big project. He then proceeds to order thousands of AI chips, disregarding the potential consequences. In time, the new line of toys is completed and shipped to stores worldwide. The following scene introduces us to a young girl named Lily and her family, who run a small toy shop in a quaint town. Alan is a responsible teenager who takes over the family store, but he struggles to make sales and keep the business afloat. One day, he receives a strange package of high-tech toys, including the Commando Elite and Gorgonite figures. When he opens them, he discovers that the toys come to life and engage in a fierce battle for supremacy. Alan sees the potential to turn his failing store around by selling these incredible toys, but he has to convince the truck driver, Joe, to leave them with him. Joe is hesitant but agrees to let Alan keep the toys, warning him that he's in trouble if anything goes wrong. While the toys are in the store, Alan's neighbor, Christy, comes in with her brother Timmy. Timmy is fascinated by the toys and wants one for his birthday. Christy agrees to buy him one, but Alan is hurt when he sees her with her boyfriend. Later that night, Alan discovers that one of the Gorgonite figures, Archer, has come to life and is searching for information about a place called Gorgon. Alan is shocked but intrigued, and he begins to work with Archer to figure out what's going on. As they delve deeper into the mystery, they realize that the toys are not just playthings, but are part of a larger and more dangerous conflict. Alan and Archer must work together to save their town from destruction and uncover the truth behind the high-tech toys. As the clock struck midnight, Chip Hazard emerged from his packaging, awakening his army of elite soldiers. Kip Killigan, Brick Bazooka, Butch Meathook, Nick Nitro, and Link Static all sprang to life, ready to carry out their mission. To rid the world of the Gorgonites, the following day, Alan arrived at the toy store to find chaos and destruction. The new toy sets had all vanished, and one of the Gorgonites lay in pieces on the floor. Christy arrived and offered to help clean up the mess. But as Alan rode home on his bike with the broken Gorgonite in his backpack, he had no idea that the Commando Elite were hot on his trail. They had a plan to assassinate Archer, and it involved throwing Brick onto Alan's bike. But things went terribly wrong, and the plan ended in disaster. Alan called the company to express his anger, but they didn't seem to care. Meanwhile, Erwin and Larry at Globitech were having a heated discussion about the toys. Larry had inserted munitions chips into the toys, thinking it would be a good idea. But when Erwin found out, he was shocked and angry. Alan was sound asleep when Archer started to explore the house. Suddenly, Chip Hazard and his army captured Archer and interrogated him in the kitchen sink. Alan woke up to find Archer being attacked, and he bravely fought off the commando elite, destroying Nick Nitro in the process. The commotion woke up Alan's parents, but by the time they arrived, Nick Nitro had disappeared. Alan was eventually caught and forced to confess to his illegal acquisition of the toys. The discussion between the parent and son takes a turn for the worse when Alan claims that the toys were the reason for the missing tools. This assertion makes his parents suspicious of him. Later, Ellen confronts Archer for not supporting Alan, and demands to know why he didn't prove to their parents that the toys are alive. In response, Archer tells her to shut up. Eventually, they reconcile and decide to find the other Gorgonites before the Commando Elite does. Meanwhile, the Commando Elite gather in Christie's garage where Chip delivers an impassioned speech to his followers. Nick enters the garage and dies in Chip's arms, 
which causes the group to seek vengeance on Alan. They transform tools, electronics, and hardware into makeshift weapons and start executing their plan. Alan eventually discovers the Gorgonites hiding in the trash and uses his computer to locate their home. At Globedic, Irwin and Larry meet with the scientists who developed the microprocessor. The chips can learn and develop intelligence, but they can also be destroyed by an electromagnetic pulse. The commando elite eavesdrop on Alan and Christie's conversation and finish developing their weapons. They sneak into Christie's room, administer roofies to her parents, and turn her dolls into zombie-like creatures. When Christie returns home, she is horrified to see her dolls come to life and attack her. Her boyfriend tries to help her but is driven off by the commandos. They force Christy to make a hostage video, demanding the Gorgonite surrender. Alan creates a diversion by leaving a box of Gorgonites in front of Christy's house which distracts the commandos. He then launches a rocket that sends Archer parachuting into the house, where he unlocks the back door and lets Zan in. They fight the zombie dolls and eventually rescue Christy. After Alan heroically saves Christy from danger, she is so grateful that she gives him a kiss. Meanwhile, the commandos go through a complicated process to blow up what they think is the Gorgonite's hiding place, but it turns out to be a decoy. The commandos then pursue Alan, Christy, and Archer who are attempting to flee on a motor scooter. During the chase, the commandos crash into a pond and are destroyed, except for Chip Hazard, who survives despite having part of his face melted. He hijacks a delivery of new commando elite figures and forces the driver Joe to take him to Alan's house. When Alan, Archer, and their friends arrive at his house, they find his parents arguing about the recent events. Suddenly, Larry and Erwin arrive and confirm that the toys have come to life. Stuart becomes enraged and slaps Larry across the face, blaming the toys for nearly killing his son. As the humans panic, Chip Hazard mobilizes an army of commandos and declares war on the Gorgonites and their allies by unleashing nails flaming tennis balls, and fireworks. Larry and Irwin remember that an electromagnetic pulse can disable the microchip in the commandos, and Alan suggests climbing up to the two transformers outside to create an overload and erupting magnetic field. Larry and Irwin confirm that the plan would work, but they also reveal that the Gorgonites will not survive the blast. Archer convinces Alan to go through with the plan by reminding him it's for the greater good. Alan climbs up the electric pole. But Chip Hazard chases him in a toy helicopter and starts shooting at him. The Gorgonites take control of one of the vehicles and shoot down the helicopter before it crashes into a satellite. Chip Hazard manages to jump out and land on the electric pole, where he tries to knock Alan down. Archer arrives and engages in a fierce fight with Chip Hazard, but is ultimately defeated and pushed off the pole. In retaliation, Alan grabs Chip Hazard and jams him between the Transformers. This activates the Emp and causes a large explosion that finally destroys the Commando Elite and their doll allies. The next day, the CEO of Globedic, Gilmars, arrives at the scene and bribes all the witnesses into silence about the crisis. Larry is filled with anxiety about potentially losing his job, but Mars proposes an alternative solution. Increasing the price of the commando elite and selling them to the military of a South American country. Meanwhile, Alan is heartbroken over the loss of his Gorgonite companions as he cleans up the aftermath with tears in his eyes. Suddenly, he stumbles upon Archer's bow and decides to investigate further. After lifting the toppled satellite dish, he is overjoyed to discover that all the Gorgonites have survived the Imp Blast by seeking refuge inside the dish. In the final scene, the Gorgonites bid farewell to Alan and set out on a quest to find their long-lost homeland, Gorgon, aboard Stuart's model ship. Archer expresses gratitude for their help and says, Thanks, Alan. Christy and I are going to have some alone time. Now, if you enjoying the video, then please subscribe our YouTube channel and on the notification bell to know our latest updates.